Can you give us a couple of examples how ChatGPT is used at the moment and what, how it could be used in the future? Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can use it. And I'm sure you've used it in some of your own because marketing is one of those areas, especially when you do a lot of communication, um, that it really can benefit. So a few of the use cases are really in generating content. A lot of people have used it to write thought leadership pieces, articles. Um, there, It's been banned in some schools for writing school assignments, although there's a way to detect the plagiarism now. Um, but it's a really great way if you're trying to figure out how to start an article on a topic or a response to an email to actually getting something on the page. Yeah. Um, and then because the model may not be factually accurate in all of the information that it provides, you just have to go in and tweak what that answer right, is. Right. So that's been my favorite use case so far. Um, what is also integrated is into tools like Power Automate and GitHub. So if you're a software programmer and you're trying to decide what's the best way to code something mm -hmm. in a different software language that you're not usually working with, it will actually help and suggest code for you so that it can be faster to program yeah. things, yeah. which is really interesting. Um, and then one of the other future use cases is really on the customer service side. A lot of companies are really excited about the potential that it has to allow them to interact with their customers without needing huge customer support teams. Mm -hmm. However, because the responses that it generates um, still might not contain accurate information, may still be biased, um, may not be necessarily the way that you want to respond to the customer, there's a little bit of hesitation in actually fully automating those types of processes. So there's been a lot of talk about people who are not normally sort of techie using it. So have you found ways to use ChatGPT either at work or at home or what's your thought on it? Yeah, actually you're right. Um, I'm using it a lot. I work in marketing and I use it a lot for content creation, more to get a couple of bullet points for my white paper. So when I need to start to write a text, and I guess we all know this feeling when you are in front of a white paper and you don't know where to start or how to start. So this is actually giving a good outline to ChatGPT like about what I wanna talk, in which direction I, should, I wanna go, which should be the conclusion. And then I'm asking ChatGPT, hey, what could be like a proper intro or, um, important bullets that need I need to tackle or questions that people are asking around that topic. So I know, or it gives me at least insights, what could be interesting topics we should, interesting topics we should cover in this white paper or in this brochure or text. So yes, actually for content creation, I'm using it a lot um, for business perspective and Actually, it's a content creation for, for uh, private um, <laughs> private uh, use. Um, just giving me some insights for, I don't know, I, I had a friend, she turned 40, and I wanted to do a birthday card with 40 nice messages. I mean, I was able to come up with 10, maybe 15, but I did not manage to come up with 40. So. ChatGPT helped me without knowing this person, giving me inputs, and then I enhanced it with my experience I had with her. So I put like, I had these inputs, put together my memories, and then I had like 49 sentences about her. So this is how I used it so far, and I'm pretty excited what's next and what's coming there. And I love to use it. It's just, sometimes it's already because so many people are using it, it's down. So many yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's crazy. But it's also it's really cool. I would never think of using it for a birthday card, but as more and more people use it for those types of things, then it gets even better. Mm -hmm. So you're helping to direct what it might do next just by using it. Yeah. Which true. is cool.